I did my product research. I found products in niches that are already selling. And so again, use the best selling products and low competitive spaces to guide your next products to create. We talked about identifying before we create it. We want to identify our passions, identify what is proven, and then create. Here are some examples. If you watch my videos, then you've probably seen this slide before. If not, let me share it with you. This is my quick guide of showing you what you should sell as a beginner. This little bar here at, at the top is showing you the number of sales this particular item has and the amount of revenue of the amount of money dollar signs this product generated this is why it's so cool to sell on etsy one product can get you a thousand dollars i have done it done that myself on several occasions where one product was able to generate for me a thousand dollars just one product alone and so here's the point where should you sell what product should you create what should you go back to the drawing board and, and start discovering and getting into what Canva is? Think about creating certificate of completions. This is great. This is where I started off with Etsy and how I was able to get a bestseller for something that I didn't have no clue what a bestseller was because I was just new to Etsy. I didn't know. But you want to find things that's proven to sell in a low competitive space. Again, 157 sales made over a thousand dollars let's go to our next one what's proven to sell just give you guys some quick examples of where you need to spend your time how about this one birthday invitations we have 288 sales for this invitation this one product that probably spent maybe say 20 minutes 30 minutes to, to create and 30 minutes of work generated for them over a thousand dollars why because digital products went well now what's pretty cool about revenue is with this product is when it's a digital product most likely they get all the revenue if it's not ran on ads as opposed to you selling a physical product for you to sell a physical product the revenue you, you you get is not what goes in your pocket if i sold a mug well i have to buy that mug i have to spend money on printing that mug i gotta spend money on shipping out that mug and making sure that it gets to the customer on time well, before I get any profit, I got to go through my expenses. And so I might have made a thousand dollars with the mug, but realistically, what did I take home as my profit? Because I have product costs. What's pretty cool about digital products is you don't have product cost, <laughs> right? Print on demand right now is known to have between 20 to 35% profit margins. That means take 25 and 30% off of, of a thousand. What did you get? Well, not a thousand dollars. However, if you sell a digital product, you can take all that money home with you because the the cost of making that product was OK. And an account with Canva to create digital products. You can start for 30 days for free. Check out my link. And after that, it's only cost twelve dollars. But you can make multiple products with just twelve dollars, 20 cents to list. The whole point here, you take home by a thousand and fifty dollars for this person if they didn't run ads. And so you take more profit home with just the product, very high margins, 90 percentile margins. What else can you sell as a beginner on Etsy? Just give you guys some ideas of where you can start creating wedding invitations. Again, this product, this one product, this one product sells for twelve dollars and thirty cents. They're doing a little tip I'm going to share with you at the end. If you guys know me, then you know what I'm talking about. They are sell. They sold about four hundred products. And guess what? They made almost five thousand dollars from a digital product now i'm i'm going to share with you my other videos how you can rank in a saturated market like wedding invitations but the whole point in here is if someone has done it, i can do it too and so we can do this together thank you so much for that wonderful comment look at the, these beautiful fonts and those animations thank you so much and again these are things you can do that we're showing you on the screen look at this one small business planner it's a bestseller selling for $4, sold 277 times. However, this product made $1,000. Just giving you some examples before we move on. Here's my next one, right? Real estate templates. Real estate templates sold for $12 and it made almost $10,000 off one product. It says it has 100 posts. I'm quite sure they got some help from Fiverr to create those posts. However, could, could you imagine just spending one day on a product and it has the potential to make you $10,000, more than $10,000 for the course of that life of that product? The potential is outstanding if you know where to start.